All right, we're live. Hey and home uh, followers. This is Amanda and hi, I'm Caitlin. Um, we are just doing a little live today about tape. So we're going to be talking about all the different kinds of tape you can use. Um, when you, if you've ever had an IV or ever had blood taken, they slap on a piece of tape and you're ready to go. Usually it's a paper tape, um, which is just a generic tape. Now there's so many different kinds of tape that you can use and there's newer tapes that would be really, really good for um, maybe if you're taking care of an elderly parent or um, a child that they have or if they were, um, they have like a, a large wound and you want to keep the skin that's intact um, still very intact. So that's why you can choose different kinds of tape. So we're going to show you the different kinds of tape that are out there. We're going to be showing you all 3M because um, when you're talking about tape, why not? I mean, 3M is the best. So that's why we're going to show you all the different kinds of 3M tape. So we'll start with the first one. The first one's going to be the micropore tape up at the top. See that? It's a paper tape. So micropore tape is a paper tape. Um, there's tons of different brands of paper tape. Um, it comes in one, uh, two inch, one inch, uh, three inch. I think there's like a half inch as well. So that's what paper tape looks like. It's super easy to tear. Um, and you can tear it into pieces, anything, any size that you need, and slap it on. But once the adhesion wear is off, it's done. So this is something that you just use for, you know, IVs or simple procedures that you just need to tape something on, even maybe like a gauze roll, uh, tape it shut. Uh, but that's paper tape, um, also called micropore tape. The next one is going to be the metapore tape, which is going to be hypoallergenic. Yep. So Medipore tape is like a cloth tape. Some people call it. There's other brands of Mefix, Hypofix. But it looks like this. And as you can see, it's like a cloth. So you can see the different, um, the little wo woven stitches in it. Um, it's very soft to the touch because it's that cloth kind of feel. And it's already perforated. So if you need, if you don't need scissors with like some of the other tapes, they need scissors. Um, but this one, you it's already perforated. There's little preparations in it, you just pull and it will tear very, very easily, which is great. Um, these come in two, four, and six inch in sizes. I think this is a two. Um, and long rolls, about 10 yards. So you could use this for a very, very long time. But this would be something that you wanted to use on um, something, maybe uh, wound care for that's, you want it to make sure that it's nice and soft. It's not going to scratch like a foot. Um, to put on a foot or a hand, and it's very soft on the skin. Um, and it also has a really good adhesion, and it's breathable, which is also very good. The next one is going to be the Durapore. Oops. Okay, Durapore is, um, I really don't get orders for Durapore that much, except for lymphedema patients. Mm -hmm. um, it's also called silk tape. It's Super hard to tear. You're going to need scissors. Um, it's, I, I feel like Caitlin and I were talking about it. It's very old-fashioned tape. Like They used to use this tape you see more in the hospitals a um, long time ago or when I was a kid, I guess. We don't sell a whole lot of it, um, but it's still adhesive. Um, it's really slick to the touch, um, but it's not breathable. Uh, it's tightly woven. Um, and it's super hard to cut. So you're going to have issues if you're wearing gloves and you need to get a scissor or anything like that. So that is Durapore tape or silk tape. Next one we have is Transport. It's the top one. It's kind of hard to see, but it's clear tape. So we have it right here. So you can see it's very clear. And it's going to be waterproof, which is great, especially for ostomy patients because it's super adhesive and has that adhesive adherence. So that is transport. Yeah, some people also call it plastic tape. Um, it tears really easily too. Um, the this one is does. I don't think the other plastic tapes do very well, but the transport tape is pretty easy to tear. Um, really good adherence. Like she said, it's really good for around a wafer for ostomy patients. Right. One of our favorites is silicone. So it's that blue color, so it's nice and easy to see and to um, differ from the rest of them. Yeah, silicone tape came out probably about five or six years ago. Um, I use it for my kids, and I use it for myself if I need to use a tape. The reason why I love this tape so much, it is so gentle on the skin. So it's super easy to tear. Um, it's woven pretty similar to like a Medipore. Um, it's still breathable, um, but the great thing is, 
is that once you put it on here, I'm going to put it on all my hair of hair on my arm so that you can see that. Um, if I did this with one of the other tapes, I would not be happy taking this off. Um, so I'm going to show you. The silicone tape is super gentle on the skin. You take it right off, and literally, I think there's like one hair on there um, that it took off, and I didn't feel a thing. The gr other great thing about silicone tape is that I could put it, take it off and put it right back on, and it would have the same adherence. So it can be reused often um, so you can take it off reposition it take it off take a shower put it back on it's a great amazing tape I use it for blisters on the back of my for feet <laughs> um, when I have a blister from a shoe I usually put put this on wrap it around my foot so that way that shoe is not gonna really uh, break the skin so this is a great tape for patients who are um, sensitive compromised or at risk skin um, when repeated taping is necessary um, when skin integrity and minimize pain are concerns, those are the application concerns, breathable, hypoallergenic, and it has silicone adhesive. So that silicone adhesive is what makes it still adherent um, after you take it off and put it back on. So that is an awesome, awesome tape. And you can buy all these tapes on inhomehealingsupplies.com. Uh, Just look up any of the tapes that we mentioned today, micropore, transpore, door pore, silicone. Um, and we're going to go over one last tape. Yes. And the last one we have is another micropore, but this is a tan color. So this is perfect for someone who has a cast or something, and they just want it to kind of match their skin tone because it's a tan color. To be a discreet, maybe they're a business person or, you know, need to go into the office or go into court or something like that. So this is tan, tan color, same exact thing as the paper tape, just rips very easily. It's still breathable, um, and it's also very thin and it goes uh, with the skin tone so it's not as noticeable as a blue tape would be say or a white one so we get orders for this a lot for um, for patients who are in the workplace uh, but it's basically the same thing as a paper tape but my favorite is the silicone tape and I, I want that's why I kind of wanted to do this live today because I want more people to hear about the silicone tape because it's it's such an awesome tape like I'm just tearing it up into pieces and putting it back on my skin and it's still a great adhesive and I've been playing with this for the last 10 minutes <laughs> so that just goes to show you how awesome this tape is leave it to 3m to, to come up with these awesome things so um, if you want to check anything out go to inhomehealingsupplies.com place an order and if the order is over $100 you get free shipping and if you have any questions you can always always uh, contact us at info at inhomehealingsupplies.com just send us an email if you have any questions on anything that you would like you heard about today or anything that any other of the products that we carry. Yeah. We'd be happy to help. And if you like this video, share it, like it, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.